Today we would thought that we would just take you guys through some typical Australian snacks that you might find in cupboards in households around Australia um, and also just some interesting facts about Australia that you may or may not know. Yes, and we should start first of all with a, this one. a caramello Caram koala. Mm -hmm. They're like a little packet of goodness. <laughs> yes. Chocolate and caramel is what they are. Cadbury's chocolate. Cadbury is the brand here. What's the brand of chocolate in Brazil? The brand we have a lot, but Nestle or oh Nestle. Okay. So Cadbury's our popular one. We have Nestle as well. Um, but if you buy like a block of chocolate, you'll buy a Cadbury's block of chocolate. No, no, you guys can't see, but has like a <laughs> like a blogger, <laughs> like a little koala. <laughs> I hope you can see. And oh, inside is caramel. One thing I know that you do have in Brazil is Tim Tams. Um, I do know they are a little bit difficult to find and they generally can be quite expensive over in Brazil. Yeah, because it's coming from Australia. So. Yeah. Um, but Tim Tams. So we have them here. They're loved all around the world. Everyone seems to love Tim Tams. Um, when we go over to Brazil, we always bring Tim Tams with us. And they're always very well received. Yeah. I have like a couple of friends that they love Tim Tams. Have Tim Tams. You can now get Tim Tams in like a thousand different flavors. These are just original. Plain old, the original Tim Tams. You can get caramel ones, white chocolate ones, dark chocolate ones. I think there's probably about 15 to 20 different mm. flavors that you can get now. Muito gostoso? Mm hmm It's bom. But I prefer the dark chocolate. This is a bit sweet. Dark chocolate is better. See, whereas I think the original is always the best. So just the plain old original Tim Tams are my favourite. Um, something else interesting. So a lot of people are under the impression that Sydney or Melbourne is the capital of Australia. No. The capital of Australia is Canberra. So Canberra is um, like a small, it's a big city, but it's like a small city when you compare it to Brisbane, Sydney, or Melbourne. Um, and it's very, like all the important stuff that happens in Australia happens there. So it's where the big politicians live. It's where Parliament House is. It's where Parliament sits. Um, it's where the Royal Mint is. So a lot of stuff happens in Canberra. Definitely a lot of stuff happens there. A lot of important stuff happens. Um, let's go with shapes. Okay. Again, shapes. There's like 50,000 different flavors of shapes. There's so many different flavors. These ones are called chicken crimpies, um, and they are the nicest, I think. But you can get pizza shapes, savory shapes, barbecue shapes, cheddar yeah. shapes, and there's a whole bunch more that you can buy. Yeah. So they're just like a nice biscuit. We have a similar use in Brazil, but this is... Mm. <laughs> Chicken flavor is the best. Mm -hmm. One thing that I was very surprised at when I visited Brazil um, first, because I had never been there before, was the weather. Mm. It's practically the same as in yeah. Australia. So when it's summer here, it's summer there. When it's winter here, it's winter there. So it makes packing for your trip incredibly easy. The north of Australia gets very hot, as does the north of Brazil. The south of Australia gets very cold, as does the south of Brazil. So it's super easy to know what to pack because it's practically the same. The only thing that is different is that in Australia you have snow. Some places. Yeah, but you can ski. In Brazil you cannot do that. do uh, snakes. So we have a brand here called Allen's Lollies. They do snakes, red frogs, um, mm. and a whole bunch of other, yeah, just like lollies, basically. So snakes are always a family favorite. Kids love them. Little adults love them too. Um, 
but they're just like a nice, a nice lolly. It's, it's different than fizz. I think it's fizz that we have in Brazil. It's different. I prefer the Brazilian one, but it is nice. Just the head, poor snake. Poor snake. But it's good. It's like a bit jujuba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use the same jujuba. Um, something that's very different between Australia and Brazil. Brazilians love their barbecues, mm -hmm. as do Australians. But the barbecues are very different. So, what would you have in a Brazilian barbecue? Picanha, linguiça, frango. Farofa, vinagrete, mandioca, arroz. So in Australia, for I suppose a typical, like a typical Australian barbecue, um, you would have snags, we call them snags, they're sausages, and like steak and burgers. Yeah. And you'll have it on a roll, like with some salad, um, sausages, you'll just have it a piece of bread with some sauce, very straightforward. Your barbecues are a lot more um, fancy. Um, I'm a big fan of Brazilian barbecues, big fan of picanha. Um, only discovered picanha when we started dating. True. Didn't even know it existed before. So that was a bit of a wake up call. <laughs> um, so we also have here Arnott's Monte Carlos. So Monte Carlos are like just a sweet biscuit with like this cream stuff in the middle with, I don't know, something pink on the outside. So they're just like a crunchy biscuit. These will be found in a lot of grandma's houses. Grandmas have these in their homes all the time, mm -hmm. just because they do. It's like a grandma biscuit. But they're good. What else you have in the grandma house? The, the mint. Grandma's house, you will always find minties. I don't know why, because most grandparents can't eat them because it'll make their teeth fall out, their false teeth fall out. Um, but minties are just like a chewy mint lolly. They're from Allen's as well. So at the same place that makes the snakes, make minties. Um, something else interesting about Australia. Um, here you drive it in the opposite way than Brazil, on the left side, like England. When I went to Brazil, um, he made me drive. It was interesting. It's very weird driving a car on the opposite side of the road with the gear shift and everything on the opposite side. Um, but we managed, so it was okay. <laughs> we survived. We survived. It. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. I didn't crash. So it was absolutely fine. Thank goodness. Now, most of you would know in Australia, you would have heard, I'm sure you would have heard about Vegemite. Vegemite is amazing. So, it's not very, like, interesting. It's just like a... It's salty. It's salty. It's just like very a black salty. taste. It's made from molasses, which comes from sugar cane. From sugar cane. So, it's sort of like... The wastage that comes when they're trying to make other stuff from the sugar cane, you get the molasses. And then someone invented Vegemite. Vegemite is a very selective taste. You have to grow up on it. Yeah, the kids. Yeah. If you don't grow up on it, you probably won't like it. If you're trying it for the first time as an adult, you probably may not like it. In saying that though, you go bread, butter, and a little bit of Vegemite. Some people try and eat it off the spoon. It's too much. You need a little mm. bit on a piece of toast. And that's that's how you eat Vegemite. Yeah, true. Mm. But I don't like it. Just so. You can... Here's something that I'm sure Brazilians will love about Australia. You can flush your toilet paper here. Yeah. What can I say? It's a luxury. <laughs> I was very surprised when I went to Brazil that you can't flush the toilet paper, but... It must just have something to do with the population. There's so many people in Brazil and there's obviously not as many in Australia. Um, but yeah, that's a big plus here that we don't have to have the bins everywhere. Yeah, this is good. Now, if you come to Australia, 
someone will talk about Lamingtons. Mm. So all bakeries sell them. Um, I make them. I've never bought a Lamington from a bakery because I don't think they taste the same. So it's the best Lamington. So these are the best Lamingtons. So Lamingtons are just sponge cake covered in chocolate, covered in coconut. And that is a Lamington. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But they're delicious and they're um, Australian. Yeah. Basically. Sure. That's your hobby inside. Mm -hmm. Yummy. It's not dry. It's good. The best. Another noticeable difference is um, security. So Brazil, as obviously all of you would know, the houses have big gates, a lot of electric fences, um, very high on the security side of things. In Australia, we don't have that. So you can just walk up to straight up to someone's front door um, and ring the doorbell and see if they're home, basically. So some places don't have fences. Um, there's no gate. Some houses do, but a lot of houses don't. No. Um, and practically no one has an electric fence. They're just not. We just don't need them in Australia. But another thing that we have in Australia now, I have not had one of these for such a long time, um, is the meat pie. So it's just meat and pastry, chuck a bit of tomato sauce on top, and you're done. So you can buy these from servos, bakeries, all sorts of things. 7-Elevens. Um, these are sort of like, imagine... A bunch of men working on a work site, they go to lunch and they get a pie. Yeah. That's sort of when you have pies. Um, you can get other stuff in the middle, but the normal beef pie is just the... Most Australians, well, every Australian probably has had them throughout their life. Um, you will have one when you come over to visit because you'll probably get one after a big night out somewhere. So before we go, if you guys have any questions about other differences in Australia, if there's anything specific you would love to know, we would love to be told about it so we can do another video and show all you guys some more differences. Yeah. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao.